Da -da 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 -da. Okay, this is Lost Temple, not Shadow Temple. So it's an older game. It's I am MVP right here, who was in the finals of the GSL. I'm not going to spoil it for you. I already did that once and stopped recording and started again so that I wouldn't spoil the outcome. Um, playing Marine King Prime. And we have Butterfly, so it's the Terran versus Terran in Lost Temple. And do you remember this island on Lost Temple? How this is like an island expansion? Well, in Shadow Temple, that is no more. So, um, let's just get into the game. Uh, Butterfly, and I am MVP. Yeah, I wish I knew more about Butterfly. I wish I could talk about him some more. But MVP, man, is he a genius. He is so good. And um, I'm just... I'm making this cast in honor of him, and I'll probably make one of Marine King Prime in honor of Marine King Prime, because they are the finalists. I've been watching the GSL, and it's just really inspiring to do that. And of course, Tasteless and Artosis are the casters for the G GSL, and they are a funny duo. Um, it kind of reminds me of the days when I actually had tournaments that I was casting until the company I worked for went out of business. Um, it was a lot of fun. I, I missed co-casting. Indeed, indeed, indeed. So, it looks like this butterfly has sent his SCB, and let's see where it's going. Dum dum dum, right here, so it will be the wrong place. I'm MVP, constructing his barracks. Neither player opting to wall in. Naturally, because this is a short air distance, we could see, um, you know, some missile turrets here, and, you know, air contention between those bases. Uh, I am MVP, not getting a refinery just yet. And um, this, again, is an older version of StarCraft, so check it out. You can't see both players' food and money there. Okay, Butterfly is now going to check out I am MVP, and he will scan the right place. However, I am MVP is still kind of not sure where his opponent is. And the the talking about the TBT games and the finals between Marine King and I am MVP, they, I think that right now, for me, the most exciting mirror matchup is TBT. Uh, yeah, TBT. PvP is not to, mm, is pretty much you get re, usually get very very short games, and it involves either four warp gate rush, blink stalkers, one base colossus, or you know you know some maybe two base colossus sometimes, um, or like a, a robo like an immortal build that holds off a four gate or something like that. I know that when I four gate, I just play it to win, and if I don't do the four gate, I just kind of GG out, I tap out. I probably shouldn't do that, but whatever. I'm MVP, now knows where his opponent is. Fortunately, he does not lose this scouting SCV. I was concerned for a minute. Bunker going down along with an expansion. Meanwhile, his opponent's getting a factory. So it is tech versus economy here. Tech versus economy. That's it. <laughs> and ooh, let's check out this little waypoint. Usually, um, these players, like, they micromanage the waypoint of their SCVs, but I guess at a certain point, it just doesn't make any sense to do that, because we can see I'm MVP. His thing is going right there. Let's go to the unit counting station, see what's up. We have 20... Sorry, one Reaper, which is... Where's that Reaper? Versus uh, two Marines, and, and then the other one has four Marines. Here's the Reaper, it's just kind of... Patrol scouting there. Starport on the way. Could you see Banshees? Another Reaper. Do we see Reaper speed? Nope. Just stim pack. And it looks like Butterfly is going to try and do some kind of a drop, probably. Um, building another tech lab, tech lab. He does have one Hellion. He could for a blue go for a blue flame Hellion drop or maybe Banshees. See how many kills this. Reaper can get two and three. Wow. <laughs> the butterfly is just tearing apart MVP's economy. Fortunately, these Marines did finally come in and take care of those two Reapers. Butterfly being a little bit sloppy there. Don't want to lose your Reapers. Be nice to keep them and harass later. Let's look at the Harvester count. 24 versus 16. But the damage has been done. Eight Harvester Deficit, now six. Butterfly is now getting his Command Center. Unfortunately, MVP has another Command Center, so he'll be able to remake SCVs fairly quickly. So it is Season 2 in StarCraft 2, and I gotta say, it's weird to, to see how many games you play. It says like 6 or 12 or 50, whatever it is. It's not a whole lot. It's weird to see that. And I, I don't recollect, say, July, August, September, October, November, December... January. So the first season was more than six months. I wonder how long each season is going to be from now on. 
that is something that I like to think about. It's just strange to see your opponent only have like 12 games or something. It's like, gee, I guess they don't play very much. No, no. But they also have like a stalker or like a um, an immortal, you know, image. So it's like, oh no, they played at least 100, 200 games. Butterfly, um, he needs to do some kind of damage here. He needs to get something out to uh, do more than just those. Uh, oh, look, he's yeah, he's making cloak. He can't just expand this late and do no damage because MVP, because he's already up on harvesters again and now equal. Um, this banshee almost died and got two kills. I missed that. So I apologize about that. We'll just keep going anyway. But you can see that it, it, economy-wise, it's about MVP is actually ahead. And I don't think that even that Banshee harassed, which we missed. We did miss it. <laughs> uh, really did enough damage. So I do have a few new subscribers. I just want to say thanks for subscribing. Uh, feel free to leave comments, suggestions on what you'd like to see on this channel. Um, leave comments <laughs> on these videos because I actually read them. I actually read them, and if you're respectful, I listen. So yeah, totally. Ooh. Looks like this Banshee is gonna get killed. I'm MVP. Knows what to do. Scanning. Boom. Oh, it looks like there's a Reaper harass at this side of MVP's base. Very obnoxious. And losing that mining time is not good, but that Reaper was taken care of. MVP is... Reacting, not overreacting, like not making bunkers here, like a bunker here, and like three missile turrets, one, two, three. He just, just has one missile turret in each base, and that's all he needs. Looks like Butterfly, though, is going to be sedulous about this uh, Banshee harassment. It's going to continue to try and do something. What's he going to shoot down today? <laughs> Looks like he's going to go for the Tech Lab, and he, um... Wow, forcing MVP to stop mining again, and MVP is just going to go go bonanzas and just do a counterattack while this Banshee is doing what it wants. Vikings here, he's going to scan, but here's the battle in the front. Bunker goes down, and MVP sizes up his opponent and decides to meet up with his reinforcing army and ignores, he completely ignores his Banshee. Interesting. Okay, MVP, here we go. Here we go. Does not have siege tech, so this is just a straight siege tank push without sieging. But four is greater than two. It looks like ooh, butterfly does lose that uh, one siege tank. It looks like this banshee is going to get taken care of finally by these Vikings. MVP, goodbye command center, and butterfly in a lot of trouble now. Oh, butterfly! All his SCVs come off the line. That's something you see a lot from, from uh, these GSR Korean games. In almost every game, they pull SCVs off the line. Ooh. I don't think I've ever won a game where I've had to do that. <laughs> oh, but I'm not very good. Your caster? Me, Galaxy. I'm not great. Not that good. Here we go. So let's look at the damage. It looks like 56 versus 41 food. The harvester count. Ooh, no. It's because he did pull off those on the line, he's down to 16 harvesters. This game is... Looking like MVP has nailed it in the coffin. And you know, I'm glad that I am casting a game where MVP probably wins. Because this is kind of a tribute to him. Thanks MVP for being so good. For being so baller. Wish I could be a little more like you. MVP knows that when you're down, you have to take risks and take secret expansion. So he's just going to kind of scout around. See if there are any secret bases, but no. Butterfly has his second command center here. And Butterfly, who's been basically the king of harassment in this game. Banshees, now Medivacs, and also Reapers. He's going to try one more time to get ahead. MVP again has to run his SCVs away, but doesn't lose any. He loses one Supply Depot. And those Marines get out there. Oh, oh, oh no! He lost it! Oh no! Oh... Looks like, meanwhile, MVP has been harassing the ledge of Butterfly. And a Viking has one kill. This mule is going to get... Ooh, almost got shot down. And we can see that in the economy, in terms of the income, MVP is ahead by about 500. Ooh, did lose those Vikings, though. So. Whoa. 
and be beaten out. Thinking about getting a third base, begins its construction. He's ahead in the food count. If you look at he's ahead in the army count. So he has 24 marines versus 23, 3, 3 siege tanks, 3 medevacs versus 1. Actually, it's not looking too bad in terms of the army count. And um, he is ahead by 20 SCVs. And you can't really come back from that. That's like a possible feat. Although Marine King Prime, he did beat MC. He did some comebacks. You guys got to check out that game. The, that series between MC and Marine King Prime. Ooh, it's so good. Just go to gomtv.net. Or gomtv.com. Butterfly loses another Banshee. And... There are only three siege tanks there, so that's not a whole lot. MVP with superior, superior forces could push in there, but decides to just... Chill. Guard is third. I like how MVP is using seats, has using his army to get his opponent out of position. Brilliant play, because siege tanks are really slow, so they basically say, I'm going to be here and nowhere else. However, these marines have gone around MVP siege tanks, because his MVP isn't mobile himself, and is just going to come in and demolish this. However, a lot of damage is being done in the main of Butterfly. I don't think the Butterfly is going to hold on, because... Look at these reinforcements from MVP. He's losing a lot of SCVs, but that just evens it out. Doesn't make Butterfly in the lead. And MVP did leave that did leave that spot. In the end there, it looks like the harvesters are about even. However, there's just so few production facilities right now. Butterfly is still way behind. Two barracks, one starport, and one factory. Is that all? Oh no. That's terrible. Meanwhile, look at MVP. He's got um Let's see here, what does he have? Sorry about the screen scrolling, I know it must be obnoxious. One, two, three, four, five barracks, two factories, and one starport. MVP. <laughs> Most valuable player, MVP. And IM stands for Incredible Miracle. MVP, MVP. He does check to see if the third is there. No, it is not. Will he just push in, or will he siege up and do kind of a more methodical kind of push here? Good scan from Butterfly. But... What can you do if you're Butterfly in this position? I don't really know. He's going to fly his Metavax forward and then back. Nope. <laughs> also, these in the finals between Marine King and um, I'm MVP, for the first time we see we see battle cruisers in in the GSL, and that was definitely exciting, especially if you're Terran, because the battle cruiser speed buff. Okay, Butterfly is going for the third of MVP. And this is a good move from Butterfly because all, all of MB, MVP's forces are here. Whoa! Sieged up here. Looks like it's going to be kind of a base trade. Butterfly takes away the third. However, MVP takes away the just the natural. Gets cleaned up, no problem. Yeah, even though Butterfly had more Marines, that siege tank did take care of the Marines of Butterfly. Look at these minerals. Look how they've barely been mined compared to the end of the natural of MVP. Butterfly is definitely hanging in there, playing very, very scrappy, managing to keep himself alive. Good counterattacks. But honestly, his harassment just didn't do enough in the beginning, if you think back, he had Reapers and Banshees. It just didn't do enough, and MVP got his expansion up further and was just able to defend, 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 hold everything off. And um, then MVP had a really good one attack here and kill all those SCVs, and I think that was really just the turning point. That's when we knew MVP was going to win. Now, the rest of the game is just, just for our enjoyment. Cool. Now it's definitely time to wrap it up. Look at this army from MVP. Put a sock in it, Butterfly. You are going down. And MVP isn't is just keeping his units here. Not really sure why. I, I get this feeling that he's just toying with his opponent. 
he knows he has much, so much more, but he's just, oh, or maybe not. Yeah, here we go. Here we go. <laughs> Come on. Come on, Schwartz. Come on, Schwartz. Here we go. MVP is going to win the game here, no doubt. Ah, Butterfly. I gotta say, his tank positioning here was phenomenal and still doing a lot of damage just with this Banshee. Well, it has one kill, but... If it were, Butterfly were a lesser player, MVP would have won sooner. MVP is back on his third base. Butterfly having to rebuild barracks is here. And it's gonna be GG pretty soon. Not a whole lot you can do. And oh, did you see that? The mule dropped. Let's put it on to slower. Yeah, let's put it on slower. And when MVP thinks he's won, he drops the mule. Let's see it. Let's see that mule. And if he loses, then he drops the mule too, so it's not that. It's not BM. There we go. There's the mule from MVP and Butterfly taps out. Oh, thanks a lot. This was Hyper Galaxy, and uh, tune in to the next one, Marine King Prime.